All right, the last time we met, I was disassembling the motor, but right now I am going to give you a quick update what I've done so far, and then uh, we're going to dive in on a couple of things that I need to get done before we move to the next stage and move to another stage and so forth. So you can see the engine is covered. Reason being, I don't want dust to get here. And uh, if you know when you build the engine, this is required so that when you are working with the engine the engine is dust free but before i take out this i will show you a little bit some other things that i've worked on uh this one here if you don't know about this plate so this is where you pass in your coil and also your spark plug so before I open this one, let me open this one over here. This is the head. All right, so what you are looking at here, this is the head. It has been cleaned and decked as well. So it is ready to be assembled. And that is why I also cover it with uh, this bag because I don't want dust to get here and I don't want any debris to get here because the head is ready to be assembled. They've decked it already and uh, you can see, that's why I have this uh, cupboard so that it protects it from scratch and whatnot at the bottom here because we don't want anything to happen uh, to it because, uh, because it's very expensive to do this kind of job. Uh, let me show you the work that they did. You can see how shiny it is. I don't want to mess around with this one and that's why you saw it covered and also put on top of a cupboard so that this part over here is protected. I am not going to assemble this yet because I still have a few parts that I am waiting. I've ordered quite a number of parts which I don't want to reuse from the old stuff which I removed here. Okay, some of the other things that I am going to reuse are these valves here. These are all 16 valves. I also cleaned them out very nice and look how they came. They came just like new. And when you're cleaning this, you don't want to damage them, meaning you don't want to take out any material on top of it as uh, outside of just cleaning them so that they don't have any carbon buildup on, uh, on it. So this is how they came out. I used the combination of a few things and uh, one of the was this one here. I used this heavy duty degreaser. That's what I use. I also cleaned the springs and uh, I submerged them into the engine oil so that it, they don't rust at all. So here you have them. I already cleaned them. They are ready to be assembled. And uh, let me show you about this one here, the camshaft. So if you look at this camshaft, this was really dirty, but I clean it up and uh, also it looks like new. Uh, the, the reason I have it in the back because I don't want it to rust and uh, I applied the engine oil on it uh, so that the next time as I start assembling this, it will be ready and with no rust at all because this can easily build up rust when you leave it in an environment like this one. Okay, these are the, the few parts that I have, but before I can start the work, I still need to get like the valve, uh, the valve stem seal, which are very critical when you are doing the head because that is where I have to start anyway. So I am waiting for those once they are here, I will start working on assembling their, the head. Another thing that uh, I am also waiting are the titanium bolts. So I didn't go with some of the bolts. I am not using the OEM bolt. I'll be using the titanium bolt. Uh, reason being because they are stronger and I can always reuse them. They are not stock to yield. The OEM ones are stock to yield. So if let's say I reopen this, I have to buy the new bolts again and those things are so expensive so the more i keep on buying those smaller things they keep adding so if anything goes wrong i reopen with a titanium bolt i can still reuse them so 
most of the bolts which are one time use only in the head as well as on the uh, the engine block i'm replacing them with the titanium bolts i wanted to use the arp bolts i may use the arp bolts but i want to use the titanium so that whenever i open this i can always reuse them as well okay so i think we're done with what i have here uh there are a few the things that i'm waiting mainly are the pistons and the connecting roads and also the bearings and whatnot i'm still waiting for those ones until they get delivered and i don't know when they will be here but that's why i didn't want to hang you guys and just wait until that one comes and the episode will take longer to get an update on what's going on but let's look at the block what i have in the block okay as you can see the block has been decked so that literally just mean they've prep the surface so that it looks shiny as you can see it like this and uh, the cylinders has been honed meaning they already cleaned it so they removed every other uh, imperfection which were caused from previous uh, use and now it is ready and looks it looks brand new again but unfortunately i have to mess around with this so that is where the mistake i made i should have done what i want to do first First before decking this but hey it is what it is I will go ahead and do what I would like to do before this one is ready I am going to convert this into semi closed deck and there is a device that I'm going to use which will help me to convert this into a semi closed deck but there there is a picture that you are seeing that exactly what I am going to do now some people what they do uh, which is another alternative way which I am not going that right reason being cost uh, the cost right now does not allow me to go that route however I will see how that uh, that plays out as we go with the build but right now I've settled with the solution of doing a semi-closed deck and uh, I am going to do that definitely I am going to document that and I will show you in the next episode how we are going to achieve that but as of now this is the deck let me actually show you at the bottom the way it looks at the bottom This is how the bottom looks like. Notice that it's not as shiny as the other side. Reason being, because this is how you work with the motor. You don't necessarily have to work it out to make it shiny as the other side because this side is not as critical as the uh, as the other side. That 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 is why you only prep this as long as it doesn't have any other debris from the previous installation and uh, you should be good to go this side uh, where you have the, your oil pump and uh, you also have your oil pan that's where you cover it here actually let me go back over here so this side this is where we're going to use the arp bolts uh, all the titanium bolts. I'm still on the fence of decided whether I want to use the ARP or the titanium ones but uh, for now let's just say the ARP bolts this is where we are going to use them and uh, there are one two three four five six eleven millimeter and uh, this side here they will be um, they will be two uh, two pairs so four uh, m10 over here and then uh, m10 over here and these ones are m11 i think i do have the m11 so let's go ahead and test those ones if they are going to fit the arp board i am going to use i got this from amazon and uh, i see that there is a great review about these guys so this is the same one for mitsubishi evo x Let's test this bolt. I'll just pass this one. Okay, it's trading with my hand very easily. Yeah, yeah, it's going on my hand straight up. Okay. 
Okay, it looks like all the bolts fit without an issue. So let's go ahead and take them out and put them back into the, the bag because we are not ready yet to start assembling this. We only wanted to test our bolts that we bought, the studs that we bought, we can use them and we confirm that they are fully compatible. So let's remove them and uh, move to what else we have in store for today. All right, folks, so the machine talks for itself. This machine is what we are going to use to precisely drill the deck so that we can insert uh, some steel rod or aluminum rod to convert our deck into a semi-closed deck. We need to assemble that drill bench. I got it from Harbor Freight at a very reasonable price. So let's give a space over here because this is where we're going to work when we are working with the deck. All right, this is what I wanted to set up today. Next time as we meet, I am going to drill the deck and uh, we're going to insert the drill that we're going to use to convert our deck from uh, open deck into a semi-closed deck. I hope you enjoyed this update and uh, stay tuned on the next episode. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.